For the treatment of breast cancer, immune therapy strategies, modern immune therapy strategies have been most extensively evaluated in women with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. So that's really the tumor subtype that we best understand so far. Those efforts are currently um, only available on research trials, so this is the only way that we actually can improve outcomes for the population. It's really important to understand benefits, so we hope that the addition of immune therapy to chemotherapy will translate into long-term cancer-free benefits. In the first-line setting with these immune drugs on their own, about 25% of women will respond. And that's because we think that triple negative breast cancers have some inherent interplay with the immune system. And women who have metastatic triple negative breast cancer, who have already received some form of treatment, usually in the form of chemotherapy, those pretreated women don't tend to respond to immune therapy alone. So the response rates in that setting tend to be more in the order of 5%. So applying these drugs early on in the course of disease seems to be critically important. So whenever we see successful strategies in the metastatic setting, we always bring them into the curative intent setting to see if we can actually improve upon cures. And we have some uh, initial data, one from a small study, where they showed that by applying immune-boosting strategies together with chemotherapy in women with newly diagnosed triple negative breast cancer, that they had what's called a pathologic complete response or the ability to get rid of all cancer cells was 80%, which far exceeds the responses that we've been able to achieve with chemotherapy alone, which are more in the order of 40 to 50%.